Before Bruce Lee came onto the scene, the Asian male did not have much respect in the West. They were always mistreated, looked down upon, Chinaman kind of thing. I think Bruce Lee gave respect not just to the Chinaman, but to all Asians. Bruce Lee was incredible. He was an amazing athlete without peer, an actor of class and charisma, and a man of vision, a true international icon. But funnily enough, here in his hometown of Hong Kong, he gets no official recognition. No building named after him, no street, no square or park, nothing. All he gets are unofficial tributes from graffiti artists and wushu aficionados. Even the statue in downtown Chim Sha Choi was commissioned by a fan. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. There are many rumors surrounding the circumstances of the superstar's death. From stories of self-electrocution to pump up his body, to rumors of a side chick, of a heart attack, from Bai Sai, of a heart attack during super hot sex with a side chick, and even to the Chinese mafia delivering Bruce death by poison and angry demons cursing his family for three generations due to a bad property purchase. All of these things most definitely would have affected the way authorities treated his legend even after his death. Because there's so many different stories about how he died. Personally, I think there's a lot of emphasis on how he died. Maybe in like Hong Kong, could be one thing, could be like drug taking, and then that could ruin his whole, you know, image for the locals here. But the truth is, at 32, Bruce Lee was actually tragically taken down by an allergic reaction to meprobamate, an ingredient commonly found in the painkillers he was taking for an injury at the time. His post-mortem results also showed traces of cannabis in his system. After all, he was known to chew on the substance on the regular. This, perhaps more than anything else, made the powers that be in Hong Kong decide to dim the shine on one of its brightest stars to date. They didn't want to give a stone at his posthumous glory. Bruce Lee consumed marijuana. I mean, everybody's consumed marijuana, I think. I mean, very few people haven't. I, I guess unless you're a, some puritanical, you know, cultist, I think everyone's tasted it or knows about it, is familiar with it, and doesn't consider it such uh, an evil. Except the authorities, of course. The authorities in this part of the world, yeah, it's an evil drug. Never mind science, never mind the evidence, a evil, evil drug. It is what it is. Martial artist, actor, filmmaker, philosopher, and cannabis user. In the words of the late, great Bruce Lee, smoke weed every day. I'm kidding, he didn't really say that. I said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. <laughs>